Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for tuning back into another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave this video as well, as that does go a long way. So today I'm here with some channeled messages from your person for all of my Gemini placements out there for the month of May. Um, so if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, it could be your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere else in your birth chart, this message from your person might apply to you. Um, so your person is whoever is currently on your mind. You two might be in communication and se separation at a distance from one another. Um, just whoever you feel in your heart is your person, that's your person. Lastly, before I get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my Gemini placements out there, so it's not going to relate to everyone specifically, so if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's go ahead and get started with some messages from your person. First we have, you make things easier. Movie night in. Future. Okay. So, so far um, from these first three cards, I'm getting that you're very like light, not lighthearted, but like just a very easygoing, fun person to your person. Um, your person feels very like relieved when they get to talk to you and when they see you. Um, a lot of their worries just go away. I feel like you two have fun in any situation that you're in. You find the good moments. Uh, second, we have movie night in. So um, this could have started out as something very casual. Um, you two could have shared, like, just having a movie night together. It, I know that, like, a lot of movie theaters are just now opening, and they haven't been open for a while. So, um, a hobby that you and your person share is just, like, watching movies. So, you two could have kind of made an experience um, out of just staying in together. Or... Um, it could be that recently they reached out and were like, you want to you wanna come over and watch some movies? <laughs> um, or also, I'm getting that um, you two share like some of the same favorite TV shows or movies. Um, but something so casual as like a movie night in, you guys make the most out of it. You guys find find enjoyment and just like doing anything together no matter how like low-key it is it's something to look forward to for the both of you we have future so we'll know more with the cards next to come but um this person can think of you being in their future or if you two are like in separation from one another I feel them coming forth um, in the near future so let's get some more cards I have a lot to lose 20 flame okay you leave me in awe okay All right, so yeah, this person could have like some obligations that are holding them back from fully stepping into this connection. Um, they just have like some commitments that they need to tend to. Um, they could also just be feeling that there's like a lot of pressure on them or there's just a lot on their mind. Um, but they really value this connection because when they're with you, 
it's like weight off of your shoulders. Um, and if you're kind of wondering like where this connection is going or like you might be confusing the casual times that you spend together as like something like a friends with benefits even or just something not as serious. Um, I feel like this person sees this connection progressing in the future just because of what they're facing. You might not know what they're facing. Maybe this person could have let you in because of how com comfortable you make them feel. But um, I feel like this person, if you two are in separation, they always let you know that they're near. Um, we have the twin flame, so this person, it makes sense why they enjoy just like the the sentimental, real, and like chill moments with you because when you're with your person, when you're with like a soulmate even and a twin flame, it's like nothing's boring. There's always like a spark in the connection no matter what you're doing. Um, there's always something to look forward to. So this person can be like in and out of your life and when they, when they are in your life, everything is good. Like there's communication and you're not questioning things because they're present when they're in, but when they leave, it's like, why are you leaving me? But that's because they have other things they need to tend to, but I see in the future that you guys will reconnect and when they are or when they do have more things together for themselves you guys will make it so this could very well be a twin flame relationship and this person is just amazed um by how like cheerful you are and you could be a person who like smiles a lot and just effortlessly like you just find like so many things to look forward to and just so many happy moments in life and they like that about you. So let's pull your last three cards. We, oops, I pulled two, but we have good things take time. I can take care of you. And lastly, we have your flaws are perfect to me with like the angel numbers in there. Okay, so yeah, um, this connection, one thing about like twin flames is that if it's destined to be they will always come back to one another and they'll end up in a union. Cause a lot of like twin flames, they, they go back, like they go back um, many past lives ago and they always find each other in the life that they're in now. Um, so this person can disappear on you but they come back in um and to you it's like you don't appreciate that you would rather for it not to be like that but because of all the good moments and memories and like all the fun you two have together it's like I'm not gonna harp on that I'm not gonna hold a grudge because this connection is means so much more to me than, than throwing it away. And plus, I feel like you understand. You understand what they're going through. Um, so this person, in the end, you two will be in union, but it's gonna take, it's gonna be in the future because good, good things take time. 
I can take care of you. I feel like this is a very fulfilling relationship for the both of you or connection for the both of you. Um, you guys, it all relates, like the twin flame is in the middle. Like it all relates back to how you two are each other's twin flames. Like they possess the same qualities that you have, but you guys are also different. Like. They look at you, they see them, but they see what can come from if they were, if they were, um, more aligned and more ascended, like their ascended self. It could be possible that you two share some of the same, like, birth placements or sign placements. For example, like there's your sun sign um, is Gemini. Their ascending can be a Gemini, or like roles reverse, or your sun sign is a Gemini. Their moon can be a Gemini. I I just feel like there's a internal connection, and your flaws are perfect to me. Um, yeah, they. They love you for how, for who and how you are. Um, this person accepts everything about you and they see themselves in you for sure. Um, yeah, this is a very happy energy. I feel like it's very healthy. Um, well, I won't say very healthy because twin flames, they do separate and they come back and in the end they end up in a union but depending on how you feel about this connection I can definitely understand how you don't appreciate how they might leave you confused but I do think it's very truthful this connection and when you two are together it's just full of happiness and good times and good memories. So yeah, Geminis, I hope that you were able to take from this reading. I thank you again for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.